Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how I'm going to create an action and then uh, back up the same action like for my external hard drive, Dropbox, whatever. So the first thing I'm going to do obviously is create an action. So I'm going to Window and Actions, so I have my Actions panels right here. So now I'm going to create a new set and I'll call it Tutorial and I'll click OK and now I'll just create a new action and I'll call it curves curves adjustment okay so as I said before I can use function key even color code it so I'm just going to color code it just for the fun of it and now I'm going to hit record so everything I'll do now inside Photoshop it will be recorded so I'm just going to grab a curves adjustment layer and I'm just going to add some more reds into the image greens I'll leave as it is, blue something like so and probably a bit more red on dark areas, something like so so that's before and this is after and now I'll just add a bit more contrast curves once again and I'll just add some contrast to the image and let's say I'm happy with this result so I'll go open my actions panel and I'll hit stop and the action is created so I'm just going to delete the other ones so you can see that Photoshop actually does all the work for me so I'll hit play and there you go that's before and that's after before and after great so now let's back up this action there are a few ways to do it so I'm going to do the easiest ones so with the action set highlighted as you can see right here I'm just going to hit this and I'm going to just bring it over just right here on this corner I'm going to click there and I'm going to hit right here save actions and there you go it goes straight into your Adobe presets uh, folder but you can also save it on your desktop let's say that you want to share this action with a friend or something so I'll hit save and now it's saved and I'm going to my desktop and as you can see it's right here brilliant and now oops, sorry I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to my actions panel again and I'm going to delete so you can see now how I can load that action so once again on that icon right here in the corner I'll click and I'll click select now load actions and I'm going to find the action I want in this case the one I named tutorial load and it's here and now select curves and hit play and there you go another way to do it is also it's a great feature in Photoshop CC which is under the edit menu uh, Photoshop menu for a Mac and the preferences we go to sync settings and as you can see there are a few options right here and uh, advanced settings what you can do is you can sync everything like preferences workspaces actions brushes swatches etc or you can go just for custom so let's say you wanted to save this action you would just untick everything else and leave action and then you would upload to your creative cloud and that will be there for you uh, to download to another machine so or if you do factory reset on your machine and you want to get all those actions preferences workspace whatever you like all you would have to do after reinstalling or installing is hit download and then obviously close Photoshop and you're good to go that's it for now thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now